the legendary Bitcoin and all its other crypto siblings are now the talk of the town and almost everyone is buying and investing into it. In fact, even I am trying my best to start investing In, into the cryptocurrency. Well, that was the video I was about to make until this happened. <laughs> Hey guys, what is up and once again, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to this channel, or maybe you kind of just forgot who I am, you know, due to the long time I haven't been here on YouTube, my name is Harris Karyon. On this channel, we talk about anything personal finance and also personal branding in Nigeria. That is anything that has to do with building multiple sources of income for yourself, so you won't have to rely on just one source of income. So if that sounds like something interesting to you, go ahead and smash the like button right there. And also while you're down there, go ahead and click on the red subscribe button and also click on the bell and click all so you get notification from YouTube every time I post a new video. So now let's get back to the video. So some days back, CBN sent out a letter to all financial institutes talking about the ban of all transactions of cryptocurrencies in Nigeria. And a lot of people have been talking about this. Even I made an entire video about this. And unfortunately, after almost an hour of recording the video, I only realized when I came to edit the video that the video had no audio. So somehow I'm kind of relieved that that video didn't really surface because I was very harsh in that video because at the time I was very frustrated about seeing that news. But right now I'm a little bit calm and uh, maybe I might talk about some things that I said in that video too. So maybe it might help you in some kind of way. And this video might also end up being a rant video because you know, it's still talking about the same thing. And something I just want to understand about the whole matter is this. Why aren't other advanced countries banning the trade and use of cryptocurrency in their countries or is it just because the masses just found a way to you know build something for themselves and you know the authorities would have to find a way to block that opportunity so that people will have to turn back to them and expect them to do something for them the first cryptocurrency which was bitcoin actually came out in 2009 that was the first time it was founded and they waited all this time until 2017 when everyone was using cryptocurrency to write that letter to ban the use and trade of that cryptocurrency of all the cryptocurrencies in nigeria and later on now remind everyone in 2021 i don't know what the government is up to or maybe what cbn is up to but this isn't cool and some days back i was discussing with someone about this and he was kind of telling me that there's a way out there's a way around the whole thing but i don't really know what that is but i'll find out and let you guys know when i do but in the meantime you can also check out you know other videos about the ban and everything maybe if you find something let me know in the comment section or if you already know something please let us know in the comment section so we can all benefit from this okay i heard a rumor i heard a rumor, I heard a rumor. that the senate summoned the cbn governor i'm not sure as i said it's a rumor but if it's true let me know in the comment section if you read something about that too i hope they kind of talk about this and you know rectify the whole thing because i don't think this is making any sense at all and in the meantime while we're trying to find another way around or way out i would strongly suggest that you invest or save your money in something that would help your money grow for example invest your money in the stock market and fyi that is something that the government will not be able to stop or ban in this country. So this is something that you could invest in with so much reliability. And also this video is not sponsored by anyone, but I just wanted to share with you some of the apps that I personally use to buy and sell stocks from Nigeria. So for the stock market, I use apps like Bamboo, Chaka and Trove to invest and trade in stocks, both Nigerian and global stocks. Like Bamboo has only global stocks, but both Trove and Chaka have the option to buy local stocks. That's the Naira stocks. And also some of you might say you don't have the knowledge to go into the stock market. Maybe you just want to put your money into something that would just help it grow with time. So you can also invest in mutual funds. And for mutual funds, I actually use apps like Corywise and PVest. So these apps give you opportunity and also access to invest in a lot of different types of mutual funds. Mostly you can have different types of agricultural mutual funds. So how it works is maybe someone started a farm and is looking for investments from other people to help him grow the farm. And at the end of the year, maybe at the end of whichever time the person decides, 
they will pay out a certain percentage of profits to each and every one of the people that invested in their business so mutual funds are also really good when it comes to investing so i think i'll also make a video about mutual funds and we'll talk about it even more and also if you want to learn how to use these apps and maybe how to buy and sell stocks i actually have individual videos that i made about these apps how to register and maybe buy and sell stocks on them so i'll also create more videos about them so if you want to learn more about them consider subscribing to this channel and also check out all the other videos on the channel so as i said in the previous video i don't see how banning the use and trade of cryptocurrency in nigeria would number one help the economy in this country or maybe provide more jobs for people or maybe even just help eradicate the rates of poverty in nigeria because that is very huge and also again these kind of sudden changes or maybe sudden ban or shutdown of something usually gives birth to even more scammers and online fraudsters because now people will have money in their hand and they're looking for somewhere to put the money in to get more and people now create fake websites fake applications and you know lure people into that once they invest they just take their money away and uh, everyone's back to square one well, the government said they had a lot of reasons for banning the cryptocurrencies in Nigeria, but well, if you ask me, I would say a lot of those reasons are kind of selfish because if you read through what they're actually saying, you know, they were saying something like these currencies are used in things like money laundering, fraud, corruption, funding terrorist groups, and a lot of things like that. But to be honest, one of them I am sure is because young people are kind of getting rich overnight, even though it's not overnight, they've been investing and saving their money you know in the cryptocurrencies for a long time so for them to cash out that money is very legal because this is their hard-earned money that they invested into something so what if it was the nigerian government that invested in the cryptocurrencies back in the days would they have banned the cryptocurrency right now i don't think so and to be honest even i missed the train to invest in the cryptocurrency a long time ago that was in 2013 that was when bitcoin the biggest cryptocurrency was still around 17,000 naira and I failed to invest because I thought that I didn't really have enough money to invest. I would have just bought maybe, you know, zero point something of that, but I didn't. And right now, Bitcoin is around, I think, maybe if not over 20 million Naira. So just imagine if to say I had just a bit of it, I would have had like millions of Naira now. But I miss that and that's okay. But I don't see why the government would decide to ban this maybe just because they miss that train. Invest that's the thing about investing you never know when it grows and people also lose money when they invest so i think they should respect that young people are moving into something and investing their money into something not just sitting and waiting for the government to provide for them which they don't by the way so let me get this straight does the ban of cryptocurrency in nigeria helps in stopping corruption fraud money laundering and the sponsorship of terrorist groups well if it does then i'm in full support but if it doesn't, then I don't see any solid reason or proof for you to just ban something without any days of grace for people to now sell their cryptocurrencies to, you know, at least get their money back. And also, if the government would take time to learn and maybe just, you know, ask questions around, ask around about the cryptocurrencies, they would be able to actually help our economy if they invest in that. In fact, last, last, if everybody invests in these cryptocurrencies and end up withdrawing their money they would actually spend on the country and that's something that would help the economy so i don't know i don't know what they're thinking so let's hear what other people have to say about this bank i had literally just finished filming next week's video when i turned on my phone and i saw the news that the cbn the central bank of nigeria has um, banned or prohibited cryptocurrency transactions and dealings in the country. The Nigerian government said that they are banning cryptocurrencies for a number of reasons for some concerns. The top on their list is that the Nigerian government is saying that cryptocurrencies are being used to fund terrorism. So, okay, we'll come back to that. But I just think it's funny that the government is trying to paint this as if they are doing this for our favor, as if they are actually trying to fight terrorism. I'm sorry, Nigerian government. But if you actually wanted to fight terrorism, <laughs> you know where the terrorists are. You could go to some and visa forest or you could go after the herdsmen that are killing people i'm not sure how banning cryptocurrency is what is going to end terrorism but hey what do i know so the government said that they are worried that bitcoin is being used for illegal purposes they said because it cannot be traced and it's incredibly secure and also because they cannot regulate it underline that word they cannot regulate it i mean it's almost as if they literally woke up overnight and decided to shut 
everything down overnight. Cryptocurrencies are largely speculative, anonymous, and untraceable. Nigerian government said cryptocurrencies are being used for money laundry, terrorism financing, and other criminal activities. Now, before I go on, let me just say that all those things that the government said cryptocurrencies are being used for are actually being done at the moment with paper money, regular money. And they didn't ban money because people are using it to fund terrorism or to launder money. But um, with governments, not just here but around the world, there usually is an ulterior motive. The possible real reasons for this action may be, well, first of all, because lots of Nigerians aren't leaving their money in the traditional financial system, i.e. in banks and other regular old school financial systems where money flows within that system and the federal government gets you know, a cut or percentages of transactions and deposits and whatnot. It is a revenue source, you know, bank deposits is a serious revenue source for the government. I mean, you refuse to create jobs. The unemployment rate keeps going up. And now you don't want young people to invest in cryptocurrencies? I, I keep wondering whether they prefer for young people to be doing Yahoo Yahoo business. So that's it, guys. And also, if you have any other suggestion and maybe advice that you want to give people or maybe share with them about how they can also save or invest their money even more without the cryptocurrency trading and all, please leave it in the comment section. And I hope this video was kind of helpful in any kind of way so again guys check out all the other awesome videos on this channel and i hope you find something that helps you in whatever it is you're trying to do right now and more videos are coming on the stock market and also on affiliate marketing